let me go ahead and create this lab here so you already learned about prefabs let's say I want to extend the prefab how to do this I can do it with the segments segments is still my 3d models but this models has a uh, having the special features in the FPS creator game engine it can extend my prefabs so I, let's say I want to extend this room right here I want to click armor low left click on the segment tab I'm gonna hold my mouse button start drawing where I want it can do some nice crazy level detailing here here the way I want it okay that's where what is segments it's just expanding the prefabs and it's still 3d models you can add corridors, platforms, lifts, whatever you like. I'm not going to talk about it here. It's going to be a, just a basic tutorial. Okay, let's talk about how to put the enemies and the weapons and fight them on our map. I'm going to choose the Entities tab. And I'm going to click Add New Entity. I'm going to click on Character. And I'm going to choose Skelet with the pistol. Place him here. Click skeleton with a grenade with the R button I can zoom in and rotate the guy with the R button zoom in with the third wheel of my mouse okay you can see those cool guys are standing here you can put more okay and let's put some other guys let's put some guys some crazy guys with the officer machine gun Let's put him here. Okay. Let's get me some weapon in this little lab. Uh, add entity items. Let's place the minigun here. And in this room, let's click entities. Add new entities. Left click and let's select minigun ammo. Place the ammo here. Let's go ahead and test our level and see what we got. I'm going to click the green joystick icon here, test level. It's going to compile temporary game for us so we can test it. Take some time. It depends on the computer speed. Here I'm using E8400, 3 gigahertz PC with 2 gig gig gigabyte of RAM and 512 GT8800 GeForce as you can see I appear in the lab pick up the machine gun gonna kill this guy pick up the grenade from him I have one grenade can do the grenades has the nice physics okay pick up the pistols okay and escape it with the escape so I have the weapons and I have the entities, enemies, and I already know how to build the level. Let's talk about some light. And let's say I want to change the position. I want to appear by the machine gun here. I want to appear over here. How to do this? You need to ch choose the player startup marker. Let's talk about the markers. Switch to the marker tab. Player startup. When I'm gonna uh, left click on it, and now I have in my mouse with this I can place it I can place few for the multiplayer in this case I'm gonna place just one with the left click it's gonna place the entity and right click to delete it and now I'm gonna appear here okay so I'm gonna run to the machine gun let's talk about the lights I'm gonna put the red light here and the lap I'm gonna have the green light blue light let's say 
let me go ahead and real fast test that I'm gonna test game button it's gonna execute it in a seconds and I'm gonna see some lighting then we, I'm gonna talk how to edit that light edit the position of the light how to move the entity position pick up the entity and move and replace the positions I'm gonna talk about some physics and I'm gonna be done for this tutorial and also I'm gonna show you how to save the project and how to do the okay as you can see we have no lights anymore after you putting the light on a 3d canvas it's gonna remove the defaults in every room I have the red here I'm gonna run and I have blue here okay you can see enemies can pursue you nice okay escape to quit it to return to my FPS creative editor okay let's say I want to move this guy I'm gonna put my mouse over it left click on it and now I can move the position with the R I can rotate it and place it with the left click of my bot and mouse but then the other guy is here it's just copying it the same guy and I can build million of them uh, I can place this guy here and then we'll do another one how to get rid of this guy I need to click the right click of my bow mouse button okay so that's how you copying your entities and now let's talk about some physics uh, let's talk actually how to adjust the light as you can see everything was saying dynamic it's gonna do some action into the your game like you can kill it, it's gonna blow or it can give you some damage everything with a static it's not gonna move it's just gonna do one sim simple function okay we're gonna put mouse over the light we're gonna click right click on it it's gonna bring us to some properties of it we can name it we can if we're gonna choose the static mode yes or no we can adjust it, make it 200, adjust the color, apply the changes, okay? And I just make my light not that bright. So you already know how to change the properties. Same thing in the entity. Put your mouse over the entity, right click, and adjust the uh, health of it, damage, whatever you like. Okay, and the next thing what let me talk about let's talk about the physics entities add new entity let's go furniture A let's put some creature create F here and let's put some explosive create A by the windows I'm gonna show you some physics let's let's execute it I click test game, it's gonna execute the game so we can preview it in real time real fast. I'm gonna show you some physics. You can move the objects, you can destroy them, and you can make some damage to the explosions too to yourself and to the